Hi everybody, welcome to our first video reveal for the Throwback 276 coming up August 3rd and 4th. We've made the trip here to Stuart Haas Racing for a very special guest to debut a very special paint scheme with one of the car store regulars. It's pretty cool to be here at Stuart Haas and uh, got to watch these guys do their pit stops earlier and that's pretty neat. I couldn't believe it. I, I, I didn't think anybody would ever do that or want to do one of my late models or anything that I had anything to do with. So. Uh, definitely blown away by that and, and excited to uh, see what it looked like. And we looked at a couple different schemes, but uh, once uh, me and Bradley kind of come up with it, it was dead set. I had a guy that, that wanted to, to actually get me a late model in 1997, and we ran about six or seven races that year and ended up tearing it up uh, up at Tri-County one day and um, ended up getting another one over the winter and uh, became teammates with uh, you know Clayton Rogers. And, Started crew chiefing for him, and then we, we both together won about 18 races the next year. We just wanted to throw something back to some local guys that run late model, and uh, you know, Rodney's from that area, um, and just wanted to uh, pay a little bit of tribute to somebody that don't get all the spotlight all the time. I'm glad to have Rodney's uh, throwback here from 97 when he run late models um, at the Tri-County Speedway, and uh, you know, just excited to be here today, and uh, I appreciate him letting me have this opportunity. Yeah, it's cool. It's as cool as it can be to, to have this, uh, can't believe that it's even happening and, and uh, really excited to see it on the racetrack and, and uh, hopefully you can take it to victory lane. That's the game plan. Holy cow, that's cool as hell. Even has the chrome in it. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we tried to get it as close as possible. Man, that is awesome. Are yeah, I know? even called Clayton's dad. I said, you okay with having fire protection on there? <laughs> yeah, he goes, oh, I don't care. That's <laughs> We've cool. even got you riding shotgun. I don't know if you saw oh, that. Oh, really? Got your name, name over there? Side. That's cool. Man, that's unreal. Oh, I see it now. That's incredible. Come a long way since then. Yes, sir. Man, that looks good. I Pretty awesome, you know, see the smile on Rodney's face. And um, hopefully we'll put it in Victory Lane and get a little bit more smiles for him. Uh, it's incredible to see it. Um, it brings back so many memories. And you think back on what that started back in the day and, and how far things have come over all these years and, um, you know, so many. So many trips to Victory Lane and so many trips to, to so many different racetracks. It's been really cool to, to be on this journey and to, to go back and see this is uh, just you know, really, really cool. This is a pretty awesome event and uh, glad the car store does it the way they do and hopefully they'll continue. Short track racing is, is you know the grassroots of everything that we do and um, you know Kevin and I both, you know we came from that and we understand that and we know that we have to keep it going. and. Um, you know, every Friday night I'm, I'm watching late model races on either my phone or my computer. Every Saturday night it's the same deal. I keep up with all the, the late model shows around and, and um, you know, I just, you know, that stuff has to, we have to, you know, do our best to keep it going and, and uh, keep it alive. So hopefully, uh, you know, this throwback race will be uh, another step in that direction and get people more involved and, and out to see the race. I don't know. There could be any more pressure on me or not. Um, my expectation is always to go win the race. So there is just a little bit, a few more fans to cheer for. 